How you guys doing? Welcome in, welcome in. Today I am looking at messages for you guys, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, on your path. Messages for you, what's going on? I, like I said yesterday, I'm going to be doing, I'm working on some meditations this week. Um, you guys, the air sign one, I love it because it's about like being on top of a mountain, right? With all these great ideas coming to you. So, um, look for that. Look for that. I might put it over on souls on fire. I might do that. So, uh, you'll see, you'll see. Okay. So messages for you right now. Just going to get one. This is the Denise Lynn Sacred Traveler deck. Just going to get one here. Embracing enthusiasm. <laughs> Embracing enthusiasm. Right now, it's really important, and I feel a big shift here to talk about um, watching and learning from, from teachers and guides. As you're doing that, that's all good. That's all helpful to help you navigate but at some point, and this is what we do in the uh, Navigating Your Spiritual Journey class. We're going to do another one next week, uh, the 25th and 26th. It's a two-night class. So what we talk about in there is about shifting from external sources of information to internal sources of information. And so what I like to do here is, and this goes for any of the readings that I do, I'm channeling what I am getting. It's your, we work together, you and me. So even if it has no zodiac sign, no nothing like that, you would still know the reading was for you or not for you if you're plugged in to your own intuition. And that's what I'm working on here, helping you do. I feel like that's the mission right now for the next, I'm gonna say month or two, it's about getting people more plugged into their own intuitive sense. We do confirmation here. We do channeling of, um, of new information that maybe um, is still, you know, sort of swimming around. But your intuitive sense, your own intuitive sense tells you whether this reading is for you or not for you. And that's the muscle that I want to strengthen and want to help you strengthen in yourself. So when I'm doing this reading or when I'm doing a twin flame reading or whatever it is, there's a exponential growth of learning knowledge because we're doing this together. Okay. And I don't, you know, I, I don't know if I hear that many people saying that about um, doing tarot readings or whatever, but that is what I always do, especially when I do individual readings, which I haven't done for a while, which I may open up to, or doing the group kind of thing, is because um, I think it's important. Thursday we're going to do a live, so that's important to expand those. I feel like it's important to help you hear your own inner voice, okay? So what I'm doing here is giving you prompts and giving you little pings, right? That's an important thing. So anyway, um, elephant spirit, learn from the past. Dog spirit, be loyal to what you love. <laughs> Electric, electric eel spirit. This is the, remember I was just saying to you about being out in the air of all the ideas and all the things. This is it. Okay, this is it. I know this is an eel and this is water but you're connecting your air spirit to that feeling, right? So you know, this is exactly what I'm talking about. Your feelings as to whether, hmm, yeah, that's for me. No, that's not for me, okay? The news, the news or the reading or whatever is not good or bad or la 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 la. It is, is this information for me or not for me, okay? And I feel like bringing ideas Helping you connect to your ideas is a thing. Elephant spirit, learning from the past. Loyal spirit, be loyal to what you love. One of my very good friends, mother passed away and embracing inner enthusiasm, right? Embracing enthusiasm. We'll get back to that in a second. One of my very good friends that I've had since childhood, um, his mother passed away a few years ago and 
he's a musician. He has a lovely voice. He's a tenor. He's just amazing. And um, the song um, Shower the People You Love with Love was one of the ones that they played at that um, mass that I went to for his mom at that service. And when I caught up to him later in the day, I said, that was a really beautiful um, song you played, the James Taylor, um, Shower the People You Love With Love. And I said, it made me feel a little bit guilty, though, because there's some people in my sphere that I, you know, that's not a thing. And he's like, shower the people you love with love. And there has been, since that time, some good boundaries put up with, with a few people in my life who are in it because they're travelers along the same path. But they're also, their lesson to me is about boundaries, is about having good boundaries with um, either a toxic relationship or something like that. And channeling the love that I have to the people who are here for love's purpose right? Not about winning anybody over or anything like that. So everybody brings a lesson. Everybody brings something to the table. There's reasons for different people finally learning that, oh, right, this person is a boundary person. This person is in my life to teach me about boundaries. Oh, okay. That's a different lesson. Not everybody's here to teach you the same lesson. Okay. So underneath, Lovers, Gemini energy. There you are, my darlings. Wow. Ten of Cups, Knight of Swords, Two of Wands. Very interesting to me that the Ten of Cups lately has been paired with some very opposite energy. Okay? So we'll talk about that a little bit more, too. Talk about that a little bit more. Ace of Pentacles. King of Wands could be dealing with a uh, Aries Leo Sag. Yes, Sag, Jupiter, Wheel of Fortune, okay? Temperance, another Sag card. Wow, you're really dealing with a Sag here. Four of Coins, Devil Energy, Capricorn. So I will look at Fire Signs, Aries Leo Sag, and Capricorn in the extended reading. There's something about um, making a decision here about letting go of some unhealthy patterns. Anger. Anger. Choices are made, choices made in anger. Holding back, withholding from someone or withholding information, withholding um, physicality with some kind of withholding here. Four of coins, devil. So temperance, temperance is this love energy here. I feel like this is the past. There's, there's the two of you trying to make this work or um, something like that. What is the lesson of this person in your life? This le the lesson of this person in your life might be about abundance. Learning from the past here. Learning from the past and being loyal. So... This person may be teaching you about loyalty. This person may be teaching you about um, financial abundance. This person has a lot of good ideas. This person could be an entrepreneur. Okay, and there's something about holding on here that gets that flips it over into the toxic. Okay, because the devil energy is the um, the shadow inverse of the lovers okay gemini's opposite energy is sag so i feel here that there's some kind of inverted there's some kind of corruption of the message here or corruption let's see here nine of cups ace of swords Eight of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles. Hmm, very interesting. So what I'm seeing here is there's some, this person is like kind of setting, maybe, maybe setting you straight 
about love and abundance and work related things. They're here to teach you something. They're here to teach you a new way, some kind of new path, okay? Because Wheel of Fortune, they're moving forward. I feel like, I feel like uh, um, they are moving forward. So, uh, you might be trying to hold on to them, but they're trying to hold on to you to stay in each other's lives. But if that lesson has been transmitted, I feel like you might be angry about the fact that that's the lesson of this person in your life. I feel like this person, um, this person might have been in your life and you were thinking this is a life partner. Hmm. Because this person is moving and there's a decision made here in anger. Let's see. Seven of Pentacles. Death. Yeah, this person this is this is transforming. Nine of coins. Sun. This person is definitely a fire sign here. Chariot. They are moving on. They're, the lesson the lesson has been transmitted to you. The thing has been whatever the lesson is with this person is has been given to you. Okay? And that they instead of trying to hold on to this relationship it's about learning the lesson it's about incorporating the truth of the lesson and using this lesson to expand your abundance all right it's about your work something about the truth about your work something that had been holding you back in the past about money or just the ideas around it. It's not like, oh, you're not going to make any money or, oh, you're making a ton of money. It's not really that. It's about the ideas around money. It's the mindset around money. I feel like there's a lot of resistance here about changing the mindset around money. Okay, that certain things are lazy. Certain things are, because uh, Capricorn energy is Saturn. Saturn believes in hard labor, physical labor. I said this yesterday about, I forget which reading it was. You've already sown a lot of seeds, air sign. And I feel like you, you, you know, there's like this, well, what do I do now piece? There might be a, a holding on. This person, this person, it feels to me like this fire person, fire sign person is moving on. Okay. Death, nine of pentacles, the sun, chariot, right? Wheel of fortune and chariot movement. There's movement there. Your movement is this direction. You're going in two different directions. They've crossed your path. They've taught you something. And I feel like to, to hold on to this might create, might make it toxic. Okay, this person could stay in your life. It's not that. It's just that to be afraid of them not being in your life or to hold on too tightly is to make it toxic, is to flip it into some kind of toxicity. So this person is helping you get clarity around what you truly want, what you truly are looking for in life, what your work is maybe. They might be helping you to figure out how to monetize your, your work or something like that. It is about your truth. The lesson is about your truth, speaking your truth. This has been hidden. The truth has been hidden because of an old way of learning about, like, um, the authenticity of you is the thing that needs to come out more. Learning from your past, also the elephant. There's been some things that have flipped into toxicity in your life because of holding on to them. That's another lesson here. So this person, this King of Wands, this King of Wands is kind of a transformational teacher for you. Okay, a transformational teacher. Nine of Coins. They're on a solo journey. Okay, they're on a solo journey. I feel like what they've done has been very nurturing for you and good for you.
but there's some kind of decision made in anger because this person is moving on. It's just like you feel them just going. It's not even like they're really deciding on it. They're just going, okay? So let's see what happens here. I am going to look at, like I said, Aries, Leo, Sag, Capricorn. Is there anything else here to look at? Aries, Leo, Sag, Capricorn. I see Scorpio here too. Oh, Scorpio and Cancer. Wow. Okay, we'll do all that, all right? Um, Aries, Leo, Sag, Capricorn, Scorpio, Cancer. So if you're dealing with any of those signs, I'm going to continue on with this reading. Um, I do feel like this is a belief system that has had to flip. The toxicity is if you hold on. The, the truth and the goodness and the nurturance will come if you stand more in your authenticity. Okay, that's part of the lesson. So we'll see where we're going. Okay, link is below for you if you'd like to continue on. Otherwise, have a wonderful day. <laughs>